From the infamous, what's your sign line, to predicting fortunes and defining personality traits, the 12 signs of the zodiac have played a substantial role in pop culture. But where do these signs come from? And who named the stars? We have original names for stars, in some cases that came to us from Mesopotamia. Some names were added to the stars by the Greeks and the Romans. Some of those survived, some of them did not. With the collapse of the Roman Empire in about 450 AD, much of this knowledge was lost. However, it was preserved by the Arabs. In fact, much of astronomy survives today because of the Arabic astronomers preserving and augmenting the calculations and work of the Greek and Roman astronomers. In 150 AD, Greek scientist Claudius Ptolemy merged his own observations with historical writings, labeling more than 1,000 stars. And out of all the constellations that cover our skies, we've learned that 12 are zodiac constellations. But in reality, there are 13. Even if we're not followers of astrology, most of us know what our astrological sign is. What most of us don't know is that instead of having 12 zodiac constellations, there are actually 13. Ophiuchus, which is Greek for the serpent bearer, is our forgotten sign. It has 55 visible stars and is home to Bernard's star, which is the fastest moving star through our night sky. Nestled between Scorpius and Sagittarius, Ophiuchus dwarfs the constellations it surrounds. Although it was one of the original 48 star patterns that Ptolemy cataloged, some scientists speculate that it might have been dropped as a zodiac sign to keep an even number of 12. Others think that precession could have nudged Ophiuchus off the zodiac. But the real answer remains a mystery.